Hi, this is a little utility in, in from Microsoft Access um, that I've built. This is accessdatabasetutorial.com and what I want to show you is how to use VBA code not just to work within Microsoft Access but to also code across other applications. In this case I've decided to code across to Microsoft Outlook and create a task there. So the first thing is I'm going to show you is a form that I've built in Microsoft Access which are the fields that mimic a task within Outlook 2. So you have some fields I need to complete here and the two little asterisks that you see for the two fields are deemed to be mandatory and if I try and click on save and close at this thing stand it warns me first that I need to obviously complete at least those two fields. So when I do complete these fields it's going to create a record to my table here called tasks as well as populate a new task in Microsoft Outlook. So if I typed in example access database task. If I decide I want to make it it's in progress, let's say it's 25% completed and I want to change it to a high priority, I must choose a date but I'm also going to choose optionally a due date so I'm going to say this time next week and I put simple narrative in here. This is an example VBA code to Outlook. I can choose to add categories which will add it to the Outlook categories by default and again as I click in each field notice how it's coded to change colour just to make things a little easier and more user friendly. Again it's all VBA coded. These are two little buttons which are not actually buttons, they're labels with codes that seem to hover and they to give a change colour appearance. Again VBA based. If I then click on save and close I have now done two things. I've created a record in my table, there it is, and more importantly it has created a task in my Outlook application and you can see there's the title, the start date, the due date, the status, the priority, the percentage completed. There's my narrative and this was automatically added at the end as part of the VBA code so we know it was generated from. So you can see that it's done two things. By using this form I populate not as a table but I also populate a task within Microsoft Outlook and the coding for that is very simple, it's very effective and it doesn't take too much effort once you know the basic principles behind it. So there's a little utility offer from accessdatabasetutorial.com uh, have a look at it, you can see the web link is on the uh, screen there and see what you think, it's a very useful tool it just demonstrates the power of VBA. So this is Ben from microsoftaccessdatabasetutorial.com um, have a good day.